<laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Now Powder Show. Hey, welcome. I'm Gabor. Uh, my name is Alex. And today we have the... This is the Mammoth Machines Cobra Commander. Yes. Hello, Jeremy. Hello. All the way in Belgium. Uh, yes, the Cobra Commander. This is very cool. So it's kind of like a, a bit crusher, fuzz, harmonizer kind of thing. Yeah. Definitely get some synthy type stuff going. We yes. Com combine all those things. You know what? Hmm? Stay tuned for that. Just thought of that. I'm going to do a video with that going, uh, putting a synthesizer, synth through it. Ooh, that'll be fun. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> okay, so the Cobra Commander, we have, what is that, six knobs? Yes, six knobs. We have a G, an F, a B, a V, an O, and an I. Excellent. Um, so the first few, <laughs> I know what the first few are. And can I just say quickly, the graphics are really cool. I love yeah. Mammoth Machine, the style they're doing it. And actually, especially in that matte black, yeah, it looks so really good. Texture thing, I don't know if you can see it there. But yes, you can yeah, feel cool. it. Mm. Maybe up there. Hello. Um, okay, so we have a G for gate. Yes. We have an F for frequency. We have a B for blend. We have a V for volume. We have an O for octaves. And we have an I for intervals. I believe. I think I got it mostly right. <laughs> and I think there's an internal trim pot uh, where you can set sensitivity as well. Very cool. So... And an on-off switch. I love the on-off switch. <clears throat> where should we start? Let's start with the fuzz, fuzz side, yes. Yeah, yeah, cool. So let's turn the blend, I think, all the way this way. To the left. I to think. the left. It's all fuzzy. So then these basically don't do anything. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Do you want to play? So this is... Okay, okay. clean Cleanage. <laughs> through a Serotone OTS Mini 20 mm -hmm. into a Bomber 12 with a green back. Excellent. So Okay, fuzzy time. At the moment, the gate is on. Yes. When it's to the... Oh, and we do have a... Let's turn it off for now. We do have a Holier Grail by Electroharmonics that we had on in the intro as well. Um, for a bit of reverberization. So basically, you have, like with some fuzzes, it kind of goes into self-oscillation territory. Yes. And you have the frequency and the gate. Now, the gate will give you some frequency as well. Kind of like with a lot of um, fuzzes, when you play with your volume control. Because it changes the impedance, I believe. There's some impedance thing which the yeah. gate does as well. So it will change pitch as well ever so slightly. But you have the frequency... Um, of the oscillator here, so cool. we can you can. Yes, and about there it stops. And my guitar was off; the volume was turned off. Yeah. So that's just the pedal making the yeah. sound. So let's see what it sounds like now with so the. Um... If I actually play something. Yes. <laughs> it gets very gated, yeah. but it's really cool. It's a really cool, it's a fat sort of fuzz bit crusher sound. Especially if you want to go to those kind of computer game sounds like we had. Yeah, 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 with the gate, that, that definitely does it. So uh, let, let, just, just keep playing and I'll see if the filter... <laughs> Gives it overtones. Yeah. Not the filter, the frequency. So as you turn it down, you get the. So 
you get different <laughs> you get different overtones. So if you go up to the higher octaves, um, the overtones are sort of more higher harmonic overtones as you're playing. Mm. If you go to lowers, you've got this sort of lower overtones, if that makes sense. That's fun. Something like that. So that's the fuzz side of it. Then, now, if we blend the blend all the way over to the clockwise E side, now we're on the harmonizer side. Now, with the harmonizer, you have these two knobs that come into play. You have octaves. So let's start off with octaves. So you can okay. go from a really high octave. Down an octave. To very low. Um, so basically, I think you've got... Is it, is it how many settings? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So you've got unison and then some up and some down. Yeah, cool. Um, so that's about you. Is that unison then? <laughs> so you've got unison and you've got three up, three down. Excellent. So that's, that should be seven then. Hang on, let's count again. Maybe it's only two down. No, we skipped that one before. That's like super oh, down. That's okay. like sub octave. So you've got one, two, three, unison. Cool. And then one, two, three going up. So there's seven steps all up. Fantastic. Uh, now, let's go to like, the lower one. You can hear it nicely. Now you've got this one. Yep. Which uh, switches between a third interval, a fifth interval, and what they're called harmonics. harmonics. Yeah. So let's, let's have a listen. So. And that still works on there too, so. Um, but that's just, you don't have the fuzz part of it, that's just the, the frequency and the, and the gate. Gate still works. So the fuzz isn't there, but so, the frequency still works. So you have these sort of oscillator overtones yeah, in yeah. there as well. Which is kind of, it's a whole nother texture that can... It's wild. It's get, a cool pedal. Either it's, get in the way or help you, depending on what you're trying to do. Depending on what you want to do. Well, yeah. of course, help, not get oh. in the way. <laughs> um, all right, well, it's, it's, and then, of course, you can do, lastly, you can blend the two. So you can have fuzz and um, octaves. And it tracks pretty good. It oh. is. One of the cool things about it, and I mean that's one of the cool things about most uh, um, um, analog octaves and stuff like that. It's the glitchiness. I think that's I, yeah. I, I like. It gives a character. I like it. That's one of the things I like about Could it. We have some reverb on for this. I think this would be fun with some verb. Ah. So I'm, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say that's the third, yeah. Then that's the fifth, and that's a that's sort of a harmonics kind of thing. That's sort of think so. something else. There's let's a... let's play with the something else. Let sure. me play with the something else. So this okay. is um, me now with my jazz master, usual thing, Duncan Antiquity ones. <laughs> Excellent. Actually, your turn. So it's definitely some weird note. Thank you. 
<laughs> do I just hear the original note because I'm in the room, or is it coming through? Like, do I hear it acoustically, or is it actually coming through? I think it's becoming through because we've got the blend. The blend, yeah. With, with some fuzz, which is just fuzz guitar. I just wasn't sure if I, I could just hear it because it, it, it's not hugely loud in here and I yeah. can hear the actual acoustic note of the guitar, whether it was coming through or not. But yeah, <laughs> it is coming through. But that's like like synth lead lights. There is, it is very synth, yeah. yeah. Hang on, let's go, down, let's go low. Let's go down low. Yes, yes. I love this thing. This is ba great. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony in D minor. Yes, yes, yes. Which is the saddest of all keys. Yes. <laughs> which we know. <laughs> That's great. It's cool. It's um, a proper, like, it's fat a synth. Really sound. synth sound, yeah. Yeah. Which is why I wonder what would this sound like through a synth. Ooh, double synth. Stay tuned for that. Is that like... Synth into synth. Two wrongs don't make a right. Is it going to turn into a piano then? Because <laughs> <laughs> beautiful piano sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this is killer. Um... It's definitely, I mean, uh, it, there's all these little glitches in there, there's all these little things in there, but I mean, that, to me, that makes it, it's, if it's too clean yeah. and too perfect, get a pog. Well, we've only got a little bit of reverb off the yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. With, with some, like, octave verb or something really ambient. Oh, yeah, like a, like a... Even like the avalanche run or something. Or yeah, like a, um, what, what, do you, what do you call it? Like a... Um, um, the blue one? No, the, um, oh, just a type of reverb. Um, God, my brain. Nothing. Shimmer. shimmer. Oh, God. Like with a shimmer verb. God. I'm old and confused. Like with a shimmer verb or something like that. Because yeah. then you get those real broad synthy textures. Totally. Uh, so we might do pedal combos. One we might do. Up. Stay tuned. So we might do another video with this, or I might do a quick video with this, with a synth. That'd be fun. And we might do another quick video with this with a, in a pedal combo with mm. maybe like a like a shimmery kind of reverb kind of thing. Sounds great. Should we? <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> uh, bass? Bass, I'm thinking. Should we try this on bass? Okay. Back soon. <laughs> and we're back. Yo. And we now have a bass. Yep, this is a bass, if you haven't seen one before. Yes. And it's like a long guitar. Yes, so, with thick strings. Yes, with thick strings. And it just goes straight into the interface and it sounds suchly. Let's mammoth machine it.
that's great. <laughs> How good does that sound? Let's go down. Yeah. I like the little at the end of yeah. the notes when he. It's like a chord there, it's like a full chord. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's... Where's it jumping to, is it? This one? Yeah. So that's the overtone it jumps to. So that's a yeah, third, yeah. that's a fifth, yeah. Try just fuzz. tail is cool it kind of well, jumps, jumps up a pitch but also crunches up crunches up yeah from the gate there let's Fine. go up even higher yeah close the gate up a bit <laughs> that's great it's so metallic with that the higher that thing. And I know what everyone wants to know. What does it sound like with the guitar going straight into? Instant nine inch nails guitar tone. Yeah, you can also get this big sort of wall of sound fuzz sound. That sounds really tones. good actually plugged in direct. Yeah, that's fun. Mm. It's kind of a sign of a good pedal where it can kind of hold its own. With everything. Killer. Um, so, uh, Mammoth Machine. Yeah. So this is the second pedal um, that these guys send us. Well. Thank you again, Jeremy. We should try with their reverb delay. Reverb delay, yeah. The, the Twin Wows, which is killer, which everyone should check out the demo as well. Uh, I really dig it. Just um, definitely Instagram worthy with these graphics. Yeah, the graphics look great on both, on all of them, like the whole series of stuff. Look, the, the graphics are great. And it sounds really cool. I mean, we've done, we've only just recently done uh, reviews on uh, the Dirty Robot and the uh, Synth 9. Yes, yeah. But it holds its own. It's sort of yeah. in that same vein, but it, hold, it holds its own. Own thing too. Yeah, completely different thing. So check out more Mammoth Machine stuff. Uh, big thank you to Jeremy over in thank Belgium you. and hello. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. So I'm gonna do a thing with the, I think uh, like an analog bass synth sound through that would be interesting. Absolutely. And uh, pedal combos. We'll do a video with that as well. So stay tuned for more to come. And uh, while you're on the interwebs. Yes. Uh, how's that for a uh, segue? <laughs> Speaking of segue. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, um, we've got a podcast which is on Podbean and iTunes. Yes. And also, please check out our Instagram. Yes. Facebook pages. They should all yes. be below. They should be yes. below in the um, in the uh, details of this video. Yes. So and, and we, you know, on Facebook we got we're probably actually after this we might go live. I think so. Facebook live. So mm-hmm. um, if you've seen us live, that was just after we did this. Um, <laughs> and we're probably going to do a podcast later on where we talk about this very pedal. I'd say so. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.